All right, so this is 6.3b, and uh, we're going to continue from the other day. It is no accident that the symbol for summation eventually evolved into the symbol integral. After all, they are both similar to the Roman letter S, which is the word sum begins with. Therefore, calculus has a new way of asking a familiar question, finding the area under the positive curve y equals f of x and above the x-axis from x equals a to b can be written as the integral from a to b of f of x dx. So now I'm going to show you the same thing, but it's just stated a different way as an integral. So, of course, um, this is my um, a, this is my b, and that is my f of x. All right, so my width is going to be b minus minus a over n, so this is 1 subtract negative 2 over n, which gives me 3 over n, and then my height, of course the formula is f of a plus b minus a over n times i, so my a is negative 2, I've already figured out b minus a over a, uh, n, which is 3 over n times i, if I plug that into my f of x, which is 2 times that, it's going to be 2 times negative 2 plus 3 over n i. So if you want, you can multiply that in or, or not. Okay, so now my area, of course, is the width times the length, and it's the limit as n goes to infinity of the summation of i equals 1 to n of 2 times negative 2 plus 3i over n times the width, which is 3 over n. So now if I simplify the 3 times 2, I'll get 6 over n. Um, so then I get 6 over n times uh, negative 2 plus 3i over n. Okay? So now I'm going to um, substitute, oh, I forgot the sum summation right here y to n, y equals 1 to n. So now I'm going to replace <laughs> the summation that I didn't write with um, the formulas that we had from the other day. So I'm going to write it over here, say. So this is going to be the limit as n goes to infinity of 6 over n. Instead of the negative 2, I'm going to put negative 2n because that's a constant, so that's the formula there. Um, plus uh, 3 over n, and then instead of the i, I'm going to write the formula for that, which is n times n plus 1 over 2. So if I simplify that, I get um, the limit as n goes to infinity of 6 over n um, times, I'm going to put it all over 2n, so this is going to be negative uh, 4n squared, and then I have 3n times n gives me 3n squared, and then 3n times 1 is plus 3n, and then that will be the limit as n goes to infinity as, um, I'm going to combine these right here. multiply um, negative 4n squared plus 3n is negative n squared times 6 is negative 6n squared and then plus 18n which we really don't care about and then it's over 2n squared. You can see that the limit is going to be negative 6 divided by 2 which is negative 3. So that's unusual. We get a negative area. So what does that mean? That means that the area is mostly under the total area in that region is um, from, from negative 2 to um, 1 is the majority of the area is under the x-axis. So now we're going to go backwards and we're going to set up an integral 
for the function. Now this is a constant function. This would be f of x equals 3. And we're going from 2, 3, 4, 5, so 0. So as everybody see that lower limit would be 0 to 5 of 3 dx. Right. And then this one, as everybody see, this is the line um, f of x equals x plus 4. And then this line here is f of x equals negative x plus 4. So we have to split this up from negative 4 to 0 and 0 to 4 as two integrals because it's two different shapes. So this would be the integral from negative 4 to 0 of x plus 4 dx plus the integral from 0 to 4 of negative x plus 4 dx. All right, so now we're going to draw the actual functions and find the, the shapes. So 2x plus 5, here's a 2, uh, 5, and then I'll do a slope of 2. So then you, so then you can see like that. Now we're only doing from negative 2 uh, to zero. So that's this shape, which is um, trapezoid. So this is one half, and we all know the formula for trapezoid now. The base one is one, the base two is five, and the height is two. The twos cancel, and we get six as my area. Now this one you may not know. Um, this one is a circle uh, with radius three. So it looks like this. So if I were to give that to you, um, I would actually um, show you that. So this is a half a circle that's going from negative 3 to 3. So this is 1 half pi 3 squared, which gives me 9 over 2 pi. All right, for this one here, um, if you remember what an absolute value graph looks like, it looks like this, right? So this is absolute value of x. If I, if I make it to negative absolute value of x, that would be the reflection here. So then, if I make it to negative absolute value of x plus 1, that would just shift this up 1, upside down. So here's my 1, and it's going like that, and it's going like that. So watch the scale there. And then, of course, we're going from negative 1 to 1. So this is just this triangle that's um, encompassed by the x-axis here. So this is equal to 1 half uh, 2 times 1. So this would be an area of 1. All right, so now there's an actual f of x graph that's graphed, and we need to um, figure out the area. Now watch, um, I might have pre-drawn the f of x, but some of these are actually changed. For instance, negative f of x means that the actual graph got reflected, right? So it would be like this. Right? It's not the yellow one. So if I'm going from uh, negative 4 to 0, that would be you color this part to this part. Okay? So that is a triangle and a quarter circle. And it's underneath the x-axis, so it's all going to be negative. So it's going to be negative 1 quarter pi, it's a radius of 2 squared, and then it's going to be negative 1 half, um, it looks like it's 2 by 1. 2's cancel, the 4 and that cancel, so my final answer would be negative pi uh, minus 1. Okay, so absolute value of f of x means everything is positive, so this is still the same except when it comes to here, it's going to get reflected up, okay? So now we're going from 2 to 6, so that is this area right here. So this is going to be a trapezoid, uh, so that would be 1 half 1 plus 2 times the height of 1 plus a triangle, 1 half 2 by 2 2's cancel. So this is going to be 3 over 2 plus 2, which is 2 plus 1, uh, one and a half, so 3 and a half. Okay. Uh, the next one
one is, does everybody remember the grade 12 pre-cal? This means it's a shift to left two because it's inside the brackets. So that means this is redrawn here like that. There, so it's like that. And then that's going down like that. Okay, so now I'm going from negative two, which is here, to one. That actually ends up being a rectangle. So that's a three by one, which gives me three. Another way you can do this is if you shift this, if this is a graph that's shifted to the left, you can shift the integral to the right so you get it from zero to three of the original function and you would get the same answer. You can try that. Okay, for this one, this is um, a shift up two. So this is up two, up two, up two, and this is up two, this is up two, and then it's like Okay, so now we're going from 0 to 3. You can see 0 to 3 is clearly the, this box here, or square, I should say. So this is 3 by 3, which gives me 9. Um, another way you could have done example 12d is to split this up. So this is the integral from 0 to 3 of f of x dx, and then do the integral of 0 to 3 of 2 dx. And again, you can try that and you'll see that you'll get the exact same answer.